Hey, welcome to the Small Business Made Simple podcast, brought to you by socialmediaandmarketing.com.au. Being in business is never easy, but it can be simple, or at least simpler. Join me, your host Jen Donovan, every week where we focus on marketing, social media and working towards simplifying your business. You with me? Let's do this. If you're gonna dream it, dream it big, cause someone out there listening, everyone's got a voice to give and it's time I heard you whistling, cause there's no point at all, oh, 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 and dream small. Why, hey there, my fabulous listener. Welcome back. Welcome to episode 277 of the Small Business Made Simple podcast. Thank you, as always, for lending me your ears today. I know you have lots of choices of things to do with your time and your energy, and I really do appreciate you making my Small Business Made Simple podcast one of them. And if by chance you're a first-time listener, then super welcome to you. I'm so pleased to have you here and excited that you are now a listener of my podcast. A few things before we get into today's episode. Today's episode is all about three Facebook trends that will shape your 2024 Facebook strategy. So a few things before we get started. First of all, did you have a listen to last week's episode, episode 276? It was the first one of the new year and we talked all things of getting ready for the new year. What does that look like? What is your marketing going to look like? What is your business going to look like? If you haven't tuned into that one, after you've finished here today, slip back there and have a listen in. And I just wanted to share with you also about my upcoming webinar. So it's on Thursday, the 18th of January. So you've only got a couple of weeks if you're listening to this live to subscribe to that podcast, to that podcast, to that webinar. It's all about what's marketing going to look like in 2024. Today is a bit of a precursor as to what that might, that webinar might be about because we're talking about Facebook today in 2024. Um, But we'll be talking about lots of different things on that particular webinar. It's free. It is recorded. So if you can't attend live, then I'm super happy to send you a recording. Um, You just need to register. You can register by going to the show notes and clicking the link. Or, of course, you can register at bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y slash marketing 2024 gen that has two ends, of course. There's no sell, there's no course, there's no lead-ins. It's just me sharing my knowledge to help you get the most out of your 2024 and maybe even just opening up some discussions about marketing in 2024 as well. But something to buy, if you're interested, of course, is my Small Town Big Impact book that I released in 2023 with 107 simple marketing strategies. It's available on my website at socialmediaandmarketing.com.au. You can get it there. 24-7. And while you are hanging around on my website, you may notice, which you probably won't, but I'll tell you where to go to notice, under my freebies tab, there are three brand new freebies for you to help you with your marketing in 2024. Feel free to download one of them or all of them. I haven't changed my big freebies up for a little while. So 2024 was the year that I think it's about time that they got changed. So as of today, they are all brand new freebies under my freebies tab. You're welcome to take a sneak peek at them. But let's get on to today's episode, Facebook trends, three Facebook trends that will shape your 2024 Facebook strategy. Loads of people will try and tell you that Facebook is dead, but honestly, they don't know what they're talking about. Yes, okay, if your audience is probably under 25, then Facebook may not be the best place for you to market your business and be spending time. But other than that, it is still a fabulous place to market. And believe me, I would love nothing more than to have Facebook disappear like fairy floss in water, but alas, it's here to stay. It just keeps getting bigger and bigger. In fact, Facebook hit a new milestone early in 2023, so kind of 12 months ago, where they reached 20, 20, where they reached 2 billion daily users for the first time. So that was a milestone they hit in 2023, almost 12 months ago. So it's just something that is continually growing and in a constantly changing social media landscape, the world's largest social network continues to hold its ground. Facebook 
is still trendy. Sorry. (laughs) So what are these three trend strategies for 2024 that I think you need to be aware of? Well, the first one, of course, is Reels. Reels is here to stay on Facebook. Look, They took off like a frog in a sock on Instagram and no one really knew if they would be a Facebook thing, whether they would hold their ground on Facebook. But Enough time has actually passed now for a verdict and the verdict is yes, they are a Facebook thing. Reels play, real plays on Facebook actually doubled last year and it's on pace with growth with them on Instagram. So I do actually wonder though sometimes when we hear stats like, you know, they've doubled, you know, their views have doubled in, you know, 12 months or something like that because is that us, us humans causing such big growth or is that the algorithm pushing more reels into our feed which makes us watch more reels? And I'd have to say it's probably either the latter or a really good mix of both. And it's no coincidence that if Facebook wants something to be successful, they want us to watch more reels, they're going to give it more algorithm, more algorithm, more time, more energy and, you know, just – push us, I guess, teach us that that is what we are going to be looking at on Facebook. And of course, kapow, it works. Um, And we are seeing those stats coming out. Because remember, TikTok is stealing Facebook's eyeballs. They are stealing us away. I would say I probably spend more time on TikTok these days watching reels or video, short form video, than what I do on Facebook. Facebook doesn't like that. So they are doing all that they can to keep Reels being a Facebook thing, and it is a Facebook thing. So, as the platform st- strives to make more money from Reels content, <laughs> make sure you're watching out for new opportunities to advertise through this short form Facebook video, aka Reels. So, what should be on your to do list knowing that Reels are going to be trending into 2024? Well, I think you need to start thinking about Reels as part of your Facebook strategy rather than just only an Instagram surface. So, rather than creating Reels for Instagram and just simply pushing them across with not much thought to it, maybe Reels for Facebook needs to become a bit of a strategy for you. It would be really interesting for you to carve out some of your ad budget and test some reels as ads and create your own paid real real ads. Saying reels so often is really hard today. Pardon the pun. Um, So I do apologize for that. I'm getting a little bit tongue-tied saying reels so often. Um, And of course, keep your eye out for new opportunities when it comes to advertising with reels as well, because I really do think Facebook will be pushing them even more this year in our Facebook feed. Number two, and this is what I'm currently working on in the background and currently investing quite a lot of time and energy into this and will be doing so in 2024. This is kind of like, I feel that last year was all about AI for me and my business. Um, The year before was all about NFTs. I feel this year is all about chatbots. So chatbots is what I'm really focusing on in January of this year. Just learning more about them, um, having a bit of a play with them within my content and that sort of thing. Um, Chatbots will take over frontline customer service as we move through 2024. Chatbots have been the, uh, they have been able to answer most basic customer service questions for quite some time now. Like obviously if you go to someone's website and there's a little button, you know, talk to someone, quite often it is a bot. And then as you get further down the line, you get a human. Um, But conversational AI is taking their capabilities to the next level. Customers will no longer have to wait for business hours to get their answers. And that's good and quite problematic, depending on whether you're the customer going, woo, I got my answer, or whether you're the business owner going, oh my God, my customers expect me to be on call 24-7 because somebody else has got a chat bot and making them think, that that is the way the world should work now. Chatbots, a little bit problematic. But look, Messenger is only going to get bigger and better in 2024 because of chatbots and people using them through customer services. 
Now, for me, I have to say that it's not so much about customer service that I'm um, concentrating on bots. I'm kind of been looking for that that do around for the fact that Instagram has no clickable links in their captions and comments, and it's very annoying. And I wish that Instagram would change it, but it doesn't look like anytime soon they are going to do that. I hope I get to eat my words in 2024 and they mix up the platform completely. So this is what I've been looking at chatbots for is to kind of have that workaround of not being able to have things that are clickable. Um, so I've been working on some chatbots that, chat that will trigger when someone writes a particular word or phrase in a particular post. And I know this is about um, Facebook and now I've kind of switched to talk about Instagram, but I just wanted to give you a bit of an idea of what I'm thinking of for bots. Um, so to give you an example of that, just say, for instance, you want to sign up for my 2024 marketing webinar, um, which means you have to give me your name and email address because I want you to actually register for the webinar. And I post about it on Instagram. So rather than saying in my Instagram post, link in bio or DM me for the link, because again, there's no live links. Um, I could say something like comment 2024 in the comments and I'll send you a link. And then a magic DM appears in your Instagram inbox that says, hey, insert name, here's a link. You can register here. Can't wait to see you on the webinar soon or something like that. So it's kind of making it simple for someone to get something rather than, you know, um, you, you've got to go and find someone's bio and then you've got to find the right link or they've got a really bad bio and it's just a link to their website and you get to their website and you're like, well, where the hell do I go now? All of that sort of thing. Like it's really hard to get leads and get engagement and get people from Instagram onto your email list, which to me is the whole purpose of being on social media. And chatbots seem like a pretty good solution to that. So I'm going to keep experimenting with those. Um, and you may or may not see them <laughs> become more and more active on my um, Instagram account or on my social account altogether. But the one that is working at the moment, they may or not, may not all be working by the time this goes live. But the one that is working is if you do an Instagram stat story and you tag me in that Instagram story. So say for instance, you take a screenshot of you listening to this podcast and then you put it on your Instagram and you tag me at Jen Donovan, my bot will work. So you will get a little DM message from me that is actually a bot. Um, so again, it's pretty cool. And it also helps with a couple of different funnels that I'm going to have come off that, which aren't set up now. Um, but anyway, that's something interesting. If you want to have an experiment and see what it does, uh, yeah, go and take a screenshot of you listening and um, tag me. So what should be on your to-do list given that we have just talked a lot about chatbot? So for me, I think that I would really like to encourage you to do some research. Um, I'm using ManyChat. Um, this is something I've used for quite some years, but I haven't updated how I've used the bots for a long time. So, oh gosh, I think my bots for ManyChat have probably been set up, I'm going to say five or six years now. So quite some time before I've gone back and thought, how else can I use this platform? Um, I suggest that you follow ManyChat, you have a look at some YouTube videos on how to use chatbots in your social media and just get inspired by other people. Perhaps you could think about your customer journey and how a chatbot might, might be able to improve your customer experience. Um, and if you're not already using Facebook Messenger for customer service, then maybe aim to implement a Facebook customer service strategy this year um, with or without chatbots. I think that will be a really great way for you to improve your customer's experience and journey through buying your products or services in 2024. Okay. Number three, you might not be surprised that my number three is artificial intelligence. AI. It is absolutely freaking everywhere. And there are billions upon billions of dollars being spent by big companies on AI. And Facebook 
or meta is really no different and possibly really leading the charge in many ways. Like, uh, you know, VR glasses and all of that. Like, I think they're just going to, they seem so far-fetched now, but I think they're really going to become something that we just have in our lives. And the meta universe, well, we haven't heard much about the metaverse for a little while, but I don't think it's gone away. I think just who we listen to has perhaps um, gone a little bit quiet. And AI, of course, isn't new to Facebook or to Meta, but keeping a close eye on what changes you are seeing in 2024 is a really good idea. AI, of course, is always helping the algorithm um, or really is the algorithm um, to decide what to show us and in what order and to who our products and services and our posts get shown to. But we already knew that, right? We already know there's an algorithm. Um, But if you think that Facebook If you think of Facebook like a business, then they need to get better at this stuff to make more money. So they are going to start instantly prioritizing content that will watch longer and that will also shower with comments and reactions. So again, there's so many different things that I've talked about for so long when it comes to your social media about hacking the algorithm that are just even more important now in 2024 because the AI algorithm is getting smarter and it's becoming more programmable as well. Like they've got big money, big ideas, big brains working on this. So how do you beat the 2024 algorithm? I know this is probably going a little bit sideways from today's conversation, but it's the exact same way that I've told you to beat it in 2023, 2022, 2021, 2020, and so on. Basically, you need to have a reach out strategy, spend time on the platform, commenting, liking, giving some social love to others, um, including those that are in your target audience that one day might do business with you. Be strategic about your reach out strategy. Reply to the people who have commented on your posts. Don't leave them hanging, especially if your posts get good comments straight up, like after not long after you've posted it. Keep that love going. Answer them back. Ask them more questions. Try and get the algorithm to notice you to say, hey, I'm getting good engagement over here. You should push this post further. Um, use some of your social media to ask open-ended questions like when it comes to marketing, blank is more important than ever or other questions that are in your niche. What are those open-ended questions that you could ask your audience so that they, you know, give lots of answers? Where's your favorite holiday? What Are you back at work yet in January? What are your big plans? Um, you know, how often do you go on sale? All of those sorts of questions, perhaps open-ended questions, your piece of gold for 2024. Look at your insights. Again, the best time to post. It's there for you. It sits there in your insights. Your insights tell you the best time to post, the, what type of content your um, ideal client really wants to see more of from you, who your ideal client is. It's all there. Um, be consistent. It's kind of, it is, I'm not going to say it's not hard, but I've talked a lot about being consistent over many years and it's no different this year. Have calls to action on your posts so that your reader or your watcher knows what to do next after they've read your post or after they've watched your video. Do not leave them hanging. And lastly, don't do what you've always done and expect a different result. That is the meaning of insanity you know, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Change things up a little, push yourself a little bit more in 2024 when it comes to your marketing. Okay. And lastly, just a fourth Facebook 2024 prediction. Um, Facebook will continue to move away from being a news content platform and more towards an entertainment platform. It's trying to compete with TikTok, which means those call to actions that I just spoke about above will get less algorithm love and perhaps chat bots um, and a comment prompt is what you'll need to do in its place. So this is where I start to tie all these ideas into one. Like we've talked about AI, chatbots, we've, you know, talked about all these sorts of different things. And 
they all tend to blend in with each other like reels. It's really hard to get someone to um, take some action from a reel. But, you know, do you need a chatbot that can help you get more data from that reel by having them take action that isn't the normal action um, and is easier for the person who is watching it or for your ideal client to take action. Um, So thinking about those sorts of things. And of course, with all this, watch your insights for changes in your reach. Um, It might get to the stage where a chatbot is now necessary rather than a nice to have because you can just see your reach and your engagement just getting lower and lower and lower because of something, you know, such as the algorithm isn't showing your posts or your reels much because there's always a call to action in it with a, you know, with a... um, a link out, which isn't working so well at the moment. So be thinking about these things. And without sending you down yet another rabbit hole, where you'll probably find me, if you are going to invest in chatbots, and I know I've spoken a lot about them on this episode, you but you do need to work out your return on investment on a chatbot, as opposed to your return on investment of, say, a meta or a Facebook ad. Which is more profitable, which has the best return on investment? It really is something to think about. And I'm sorry to throw that curveball in at you because as much as I love chatbots, um, the more you have, the more they cost, clearly. So depending on what you're creating the chatbot for, are you better off to have created a, a, a Facebook ad that is all about, you know, lead generation rather than a chatbot that um, is costing you money every time someone comments. I don't know, something to really think about. Okay, that's it. There's three or actually four trends. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that will help shape your 2024 Facebook strategy. If you're listened and you're thinking, Jen, I hardly use Facebook anymore, then I would seriously encourage you to look at your Google Insights or sorry, your Google Analytics and see what social platforms are actually pushing traffic to your website and look at your insights and see whether your current social media strategy is actually working before you brush off 20... Um, before you brush off the use of Facebook again in 2024. On my webinar that I'm going to do all about the trends in 2024, I talk a lot in that webinar about website traffic, SEO, keywords, that sort of thing. These are massive trends in 2024. Well, actually, there have been trends in every year, but they are becoming more and more important as the AI algorithms get more and more intelligent. But you'll have to register for that webinar to hear more about that. Of course, I'd love to hear from you in my Like-Minded Business Owners Facebook group. If you aren't a member, then go over there and join. And if you are a member or when you become a member, share your thoughts and feelings about Facebook in a Facebook group ironic hey but you know let me know how facebook how you feel about facebook coming into the new year but that's it for episode 277 i hope you love this episode and got some value from it if you did i would love you to leave a rating and a review if you can where you are listening to this or if you're listening on my website then leave a comment below i'd love to hear from you as well one of my goals again this year is to help more people with this podcast and leaving a review is one tiny little thing you can do to say thank you for the time and energy it takes to put out a free podcast every year or every year every week I should say otherwise I'll see you back here for episode 278 remember my offers at the top of this um, podcast my marketing webinar the links in the show notes my book you can buy anytime and of course my amazing new freebies on my website go and check them out but in the meantime if we aren't friends on social media please come and find me and let's be friends over there but whatever you do remember my small business peep as my opening song says there is no point in dreaming small. No time like the present. Tell like you feel it, say it proud, be true, and let us see you for the star that you are. No point in dreaming small. 
would like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land, the Yorta Yorta people, on which I record this podcast and conduct my business today and pay my respects to their elders past and present. I extend this respect to the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people here with us today as well.